everyone, welcome back to Playcrastination Population 320, and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Platinum Martyr Lock. Today we are back here in Iron, Iron Island, yes, that is it. Iron Island, trying to make our way through, oh my gosh guys, I've been playing Pokemon Go, and would you look at this? My egg is about to hatch, I've literally just been sitting here, let's witness the miracle of Pokemon birth together. Boom, 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 give me that Charizard. Alright then, well, that's not that exciting, but... Um, it's an Ekans, by the way, but we'll, you know, we'll accept that and we'll put something else on a ball because that's what we do. So for some reason, my basement's like a little glitched when I'm like sitting in my basement. It just kind of like goes from place to place. And so then I can just hatch eggs while sitting here and it's kind of cool. But today, who needs experience? I think Angel needs some experience. Do you have the experience share? Um, I hope you have the experience share. You do have the experience share. You need it badly. Um, today we're getting through Iron Island as quickly as possible. I have done kind of a 180 on what I said I was gonna do last time, which was, you know, take advantage of this guy while he was here, grind up, do all that jazz. Uh, I decided that's kind of scummy, and that I don't want to be a part of it. Also, I was supposed to fight these guys individually, and I didn't. Um, I've decided, Ghastly Spoink, I've decided that's a little scummy, and so I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, instead, we're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible so I can get back to, um, you know, the point of what this entire... Oh, God. Uh, this is going to hurt Firo, but I don't really care about Firo. Uh, plus, that Entei needs to die right now because... Okay, he did not because he has Helping Hand boosted. That's okay, though. What are you going to use? What are you going to use? Stomping on me. That's okay. That's not that big a deal. And you got a Mudkip as your final Pokemon. That's okay. Another Surf. We'll probably take out... No, Firo's going to... Well, Firo's going to die to Poison, but that's okay. We don't need Firo. Um... Yeah, I just feel like, you know, the whole point of the Martyr Lock is that I cannot heal, and so me doing things to get around that is kind of not cool, if that makes sense. So, uh, I don't want to do that, and so that's why... You know what? Also, let me throw up... Because um, he's healing me every time we uh, we get out of... Like, we get a random encounter. Um, so, I don't want that. So, I should throw up Repels so that uh, he doesn't do that anymore. Have we fought these guys right here yet? Hello? We have not we have not fought these guys yet, so I will fight them before we continue on our journey. And this what? Okay, that's fine. This way, this guy is uh, not healing us up after every single battle, and uh, it's you know a little bit at least a little bit closer. Like, of course, we did get you know a couple battles uh, where it was sort of cheating, where he was healing us up, but uh, hopefully now that should cease. Uh, we fought these guys already. Have we fought? Is there anybody else? Yeah, trainers. I think we just have these grunts to go to, which is good because once we fight these grunts, we should be free of the uh, the tyranny that is this opponent. So, who do we want out? I th honestly, I think we're fine with who we've got. Let me check. Let me check. Um, who do we want? Let's give. I literally don't know who to put out. Uh, let's give Evergreen a little screen time. Evergreen needs a little screen time, and oh, these aren't the guys. Uh. Oh, and I apparently ran out of the repel and didn't notice it, so we just got healed back up. I did not coordinate that. That's okay, though. Here's the la That was the last time we'll get healed, so uh, we're going to have to fight these guys. I should be reading their text because they are major characters, I just realized, but I already skipped past it, so instead we're just going to fight them, and uh, we'll do this scary double battle together. We have a Yanma and a Jirachi. All right. How do we want to do this one? <laughs> How do we want to do this one? I think I just have to get out with Evergreen because I don't know what Jirachi can learn this early, but I also don't want to find out. So let's go into Happy. No, there's, I can't really hit you. With, uh, I can hit the Yama with Happy, but I can't really hit anything else with Happy. Um, let's go into Nove. We will go into our not lovely nine tails Nove, who can hit both these guys. You're gonna helping hand the Yanma. Firo's gonna set up an agility for some reason, and you're gonna hit me with an ancient power, which hurts really badly. Okay, okay, and the halo's gonna hurt as well, of course. So now I can't, and you're gonna get a speed boost. I don't think I can stay in. <laughs> I think I have to go into happy. I think Happy is one of my only options. Pharaoh's gonna go for mirror move like a dummy. You're gonna go for another ancient power. Hit the Pharaoh this time and do a lot of damage. Drachi's gonna use Psychic and probably take the Pharaoh straight out. 
No, you're not out yet, but you will be very shortly. Uh, so let's hope that uh, whatever my partner's other Pokemon is, is a little bit better than what we're seeing currently because right now we need some help and uh, Firo's not giving it to us. You're going to hit the Yanma with an Assurance, didn't do that much, and you're going to go with the Uproar and hit me. Now unfortunately, I'm pretty sure, how much is Brian going to do? Not very much. Okay, Pharaoh's going to go down. Please, have a second, like, freaking Charizard. Some. Have something great for us in this predicament where we're in right now. Oh, you have no Pokemon. You have no other Pokemon. That's what we're doing. Jirachi's going to help me here once again. i got to get rid of the Jirachi. So I think the correct, um, it's now 2v1 for the rest of the battle, uh, which doesn't bode well for us, but we did take out the Jirachi there. Uh, in double battles, when you're stuck by yourself, I think the correct course of action is to focus on one trainer at a time. The Yanma is not too scary. The Yasma is not too scary. Arcanine shouldn't be scary either because we're a water type. Uproar is going to continue hitting us. Uh, we should, we won't resist fire, but um, it at least won't be super effective, so that's good. And the Brine is going to almost completely take you out. You are going to roar us out, though, which gives us no chance to choose uh, our future, basically. Okay. Now we have Enigma out. Enigma out. Uh, like, I think same rules apply here. I think you still want to focus on... I really wish I had to move the hit both of you guys. I think you still want to focus on the Arcanine. So I think you... Uproar doesn't affect me, so that's good. I think you focus on the Arcanine and you take it out. And then you go to the next Pokemon, who is going to be... Who's going to be better be... Who is it? Someone Gengar's good against. A second Arcanine. Okay. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I've been intimidated, and uh, that doesn't really matter because we're hitting on the special side. So let's go ahead and take a... Oh, you have Pursuit. That's great. So we now can't switch out. That does that much. Uh, let's hopefully one-shot this Arcanine with uh, with a Sludge Bomb. Uh, Not quite. And it's going to bite. Please. Please, Enigma. Are you... Please. Please. Oh, ooh, it's hailing. No! Don't you dare hail. I swear to God. I swear to God. You're going to hold on. You are going to hang on, Enigma. You got... Are you... F You want to freaking go die in a hole, Yanma? Well, that really sucks. Well, that really sucks. Th of course the hail. I'm going to leave with Evergreen. He needs some screen time. Well, that came back to bite me. Um, literally, I'm ending all of your lives. I'm done now. We were taking this battle slow. Now I just want to destroy all of you. Now that it's 1v1, it's over. Goodbye. Oh, my. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I freaking loved Enigma so much. I'm not talking to you guys, you killed Enigma. Technically, I can't talk to myself because I killed Enigma with the hail, but I'm not talking to anybody right now. Thanks, you really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Would you take it with you? Yes. Oh, I don't have room. Great. Well, at the very least, okay, so he's healed us up once again, which we didn't want, but um, at the, v that dude, that sucks. At the very least, okay, so we're going to come back to him. I mean, like, oh, is that those? That's cool. Okay. I'm trying to find silver linings here. If they exist, there's another cave here. I'm trying to find some, some silver linings of some sort. Uh, you know, if it wants to give me another master ball right here, that'd be pretty cool. A sunstone. I mean, maybe. What is this here? It's still just Iron Island and it's another item. It's a focus band. Okay, I don't really know why that was open, but... Um, and we're gonna get... There's another item around here somewhere, right? No? 
completely no? All right, then. Um, so we obviously need to go destroy Gengar. Just bury him in a box because that's apparently what this is all about. Um, at least we can go pick up the egg from Riley and hatch it right now and see if we want that to be our replacement for Enigma. God, dude, we've had Enigma for such a long time. Goodbye, spooky plate. And instead, oh, I should have used Shadow Ball on Arcanine. We had the spooky plate. It might have killed it. Um, and instead, yeah, you're gone. All right, well, that really sucks. Gengar is such a beast. And it's gone now. So that's okay. So I'm going to quickly, like, just run back. You guys can trust me that I'm not going to, like, cheat. And I'll throw out Max Repels even so I'm not, I don't get in battles. I'm going to go run back to Riley. He's going to give us the egg, and then um, I'll go hatch it. All right, so I'm back, Riley. Please go ahead and give me the Pokemon egg. Yes. Thank you so much. Eggs, blah, blah, blah. I am freaking bummed. This is the first episode I've recorded today. It's a new week, and this is my first episode of the day, and it's really not how I was looking forward to starting the day off. It's early. Actually, it's not that early. It's like three. It's kind of early for me. But, um... I lost what is probably in my top 10 favorite Pokemon in the entire game. You know what? I probably deserve it for using Riley to heal up my Pokemon anyway. So, you know what? We'll just pretend that that was a sacrifice. We sacrificed Gengar because Riley healed up our Pokemon. Except I'm not going to get to Rare Candy up the next Pokemon to the level the Gengar was. So, really, it's not that much of a sacrifice. Okay. I'm going to hatch a second. I'll join you guys when it hatches. Please, please, please. I don't care. A freaking Jirachi. Something legendary. All right, guys. So I've been hatching this egg for the last mm, 32 minutes now at double speed. Eventually, I started giving up um, because I never thought it was going to hatch. And then I went online and found a nice little, little, it's not a cheat necessarily, but it's, uh, well, it's basically a cheat. It like makes your Pokemon egg hatch in th like three steps, no matter what. So to save some time, and, because literally I, I've been doing it for the last 30 minutes. And I looked at it, and it still said, doesn't seem close to hatching. Which means it has to be a legendary of some sort. The question is what, please. Like, literally, I'm not even I'm not even upset about Enigma anymore because it's been so long. But, you know, if you wanted to give me something awesome to replace Enigma with... It's a second Reggie. It's not a great replacement for... Um, uh, it's not, uh, it's not a great replacement for Enigma, unfortunately, but it is a legendary, and for that reason, and that reason alone, I will not be upset about it. We're gonna call you Maui, I don't know if that's how you spell it, but we already have Dwayne, uh, the Geodude for Dwayne the Rock Johnson, so now we have, uh, Maui, which is also Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but in cartoon form. Anyway, okay, so let's move some Pokemon I've never seen in Moana, but, uh, I assume... Uh, let's take a look at Maui just to see. Plus, it's kind of like one of those Hawaiian level one. So we're definitely not taking you currently. But you can stay in the box nonetheless. Let's take a look. And we see that uh, this Red Rock has Explosion and Stomp. So that's not so good. Um, so we've already buried Gengar. And we don't get to Rare Candy this Pokemon up to whatever level uh, we want. So unfortunately, I think we're kind of forced to take... A Pokemon that's a bit of a higher level, and honestly, Stitch is a great replacement. Stitch is an almost perfect replacement, and therefore, I am taking Stitch. Stitch is going to go ahead and get added to the party. Still only level 29, so, you know, has a little bit of catching up to do. Uh, but, we can uh, handle that pretty easily by taking the EXP share from Evergreen and giving it to Stitch. Because, uh, like I said, we're going to... We're going to need you. Um, so I guess at this point, we can't get any more encounters, I don't think. I think we're pretty much ready to go ahead and uh, take on the next gym. I'm going to take a look at the levels. We're going to fight some of the trainers. If the levels are so ridiculous that I... like, Because in the cave, they were like 36s, which means this gym leader is going to have at least level 40s. And Arbok is going to start us off. It's 38. Yeah, this gym leader is going to have at least 40s. Um, and we have a good squad. But we're going to need an absolutely... Mm, 
being like potentially 10 levels down could be kind of hard. Like we already lost Enigma today, so my thought process is I'd like to not lose another Pokemon. Uh, because lost Pokemon in this Nuzlocke particularly hurt us so badly at Diglett. Luckily, we haven't hit the point yet uh, where all Pokemon are fully evolved, as you can see from this little Diglett here. But I think that point is going to be hit at 40. Now, I've been saying that like at every interval of five levels, we're going to hit it. And I've been wrong every time. But I'm pretty sure... Fingers crossed... Well, actually, uncross those fingers. I'm suddenly regretting making that a rule. Like, putting that in the game. Pachirisu. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a thing, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be happening very shortly. That's unfortunate, and Super Fang is going to do half. Okay, no. Um, straight up no. Is there anything you can do to murder me? I don't think so, so let's go for the Dragon's Breath. Probably should have went for the Luster Purge for the guaranteed KO, but we'll get a critical hit instead on the Dragon's Breath. And then <laughs> get a guaranteed KO there. Angel's going to grow to level 36, and we're going to need some potions, some Moomoo -moo Milks. Not a great use, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go for it and uh, try my try my luck, basically. Uh, I would like to fight as many trainers as I can before we fight the, the, the gym leader, just to make sure I'm in as good a position as possible to not get murdered. Screech is going to connect. That's okay. I mean, we have Angel. Oh, God, Sneasel. We still... Oh, we should have freaking picked up a fighting type or something. We still don't have anything to take care of Weaviles. I guess Nova is our best option, but we really... Icy Wind. Okay, that's enough. We really need something that can take care of Weaviles. Because... I should have used Quick Attack there. Um, because we need it. Do we have fighting type moves? I know we have a TM for something. Um, Drain Punch is a great move. Drain Punch is a great move. Does anybody want to learn Rock Smash, first of all? Um, A lot of people want to learn Rock Smash. Does anybody want to learn Drain Punch? Anybody want, it's only 5 PP though? I don't think that's worth it, Evergreen. Plus, you're, you're not the person... That, well, actually, Evergreen would be a good person to send it against a Weavile. Huh. Drain punching... Drain punching Evergreen. I guess I would get rid of Icy Wind because you're a physical attacker, right? You know what? Let's put Drain Punch on Evergreen and solve our Weavile problem once and for all. And hopefully, we just don't have to fight any more Weaviles. <laughs> but in the off chance we do, the horrible case that we do, we now should be able to take care of it. We got a Togekiss here. Togekiss is... What, are, what type are you? You're just f flying normal? What is that? You're being cloaked in a harsh light? Does that mean you're about to use Solar Beam? No, that's drawing in something like close Sky Attack? You gonna Sky Attack me? All right, well, I'll take that for no problem. All right, there's some problems there, but uh, luckily it didn't critically hit us, so there are no problems there. Stitch is gonna go to level 30, still pretty far behind. A Ghastly is gonna come in, which is uh, a chance for Jinja to actually do something. Jinja, you need... Ooh, maybe you don't need any of the other moves. Freaking one pursuit takes it out. Um, and we need to heal up our boy again. I cannot lose Angel. If we lose Angel, call the call the farm. I don't know what that means. Call the something. Where are we going? I don't know. There's a lot of trainers in this gym. What popped up on my map? It's a Krabby and a Natsu. I don't think I want to catch either of those because I'm too busy playing this. Metagross. Little, little Metagross. Um... You shouldn't have, like, Dragon Claw or anything, so I think we're fine to stay in against you. But we're also not going to do that much damage against you. Yeah, it's going to be a three-shotter with signal. Ooh! Why are you faster? I did 30, so a crit will not kill us. That's okay. And I don't want to pursue it because I don't want to leave. Oh, he didn't get the crit anyway, so that's fine. Metagross goes down. Now, if you wanted to throw one of those my way, I will take AT-AT AT and I will put him on the team. I didn't see what's coming out next. So I'm just going to have to hope that Evergreen is good against it. It'll be an Entei. You know it'll be an Entei. Parasect. Um, not the best battle for us. Not the worst battle for us. Hit it with an Ice Shard. Super effective. It is super effective. You're going to go for the growth, but that's okay because I think a second Ice Shard will take you out. Yes. And what is your final Pokemon going to be? A Mankey, which I do not want to be in for. 
But we really don't have anything that wants to be in four. I'm gonna go for the fly. We're going for fly. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt real bad. Oh, that's gonna hurt real bad. You're gonna live though. That's right, I'm gonna fly into the sky. That's right, and we're gonna take you out with the fly. You're out of here, Mankey. That was stupid and dangerous and idiotic, and I will never put Evergreen's life at risk again, I promise. But for that one battle, it had to happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and potion some boys up. Who's here? It's still Krabby and uh, Natsu. I don't care about either of those guys. Uh, we should have at least looked at what moves Stitch knows to see if he needs some help. He needs some milk. Uproar, double team, shockwave, ominous wind. Um, not great. Mm, you want to learn ice beam? You learn ice beam? He would learn ice beam. We already have an ice. We save the ice beam. Problem is, I can't. I don't want to use all these moves because we're gonna need them eventually. Um. Earth power. You would learn earth power. Again, I feel like these moves are better saved. I feel like these moves are better saved. U turn. Weather ball. I'll give you weather ball because we have two of them and it's at least a little bit more that you can do besides just doing nothing. So uh, maybe you'll help us out in the end. Uh, that's the gym leader right here. Did we find all the trainers? I'm going to hope we did and I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the gym battle. Is it smart? No. Am I going to do it? Yep. Okay, so let's make sure everybody is fully healed. I don't care. Super potion up. Do whatever you gotta do. Do whatever you gotta do. You know what? Okay, never mind. I'm, actually, no. We got orange berries. We got tons of orange berries. I have zero orange berries. Well, we got uh nothing. I have all these berries that mean nothing. Okay, let's go and fight the gym leader. Ah, that's Orberg's gym badge. I see. I see. You've defeated my son. But that's no surprise. He still has much to learn. And in place of my son Rourke, I Byron will take your challenge. Byron, the steel type trainer, who's not actually steel type because it's randomized, but he's got a shovel. This is Shovel Knight with his knight with his armor off. Three Pokemon. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Start with a Cherim. I will take it. Thirty-seven Cherim. That's nothing on me. I got Signal Beam, so that's an easy start. We need these. We need these easy Pokemon to get through the gym battle easy as possible. Cherim is not gonna go down in one. You're gonna put up some sun, huh? And you're gonna go to that form. That doesn't matter. Hyper Potion, doesn't matter, Signal Beam, you're stronger in this form, I forgot. But that's okay, because luckily, Signal Beam is still a two-hit KO. We will take out Cherim, and we'll see what's waiting around the corner for us. Maybe I want to switch in to um, uh, Obama Snow and get rid of the Sun. That's a possibility, but uh, we'll have to see what's coming in to decide if that's what we want to do. Or maybe I never want to send an Obama Snow again, because that's why we lost Enigma. Mewtwo. Mew... To. Honestly, Jinja, he shouldn't have anything to hit you. He'll probably have 41. He will probably have Swift. Miracle Eye. Does that mean he can hit me? He identified me. I'm pretty sure that means he can hit me with psychic type moves now. That's so little damage. <gasps> oh, man. You got to get that Confuse Ray off, man. Future Sight. All right, so we get the Confuse Ray off, which is good. Hit him with some Pursuit. If he just wants to keep hitting himself in Confusion, and I'll just keep Pursuiting. This is going to be a long fight. We may get hit with the Future Sight. Keep hitting yourself, man. Keep hitting yourself. What's happening? What is happening? You got a Berry. Okay, so Citrus Berry. Another Pursuit. We're going to get hit by the Future Sight, but actually we're not. You snapped out of Confusion, you're going to go for Future Sight again. I'm going to hit Pursuit again. And I'm going to get you confused as soon as I can. Okay, Swift is going to hit. He's got a special attack stat like nobody, but we have a special defense stat like nobody. That's what I'm talking about, Jinja. All right. Um, he's going to hit Swift again. That's not a big deal, honestly. That's not a big deal. Even crits aren't going to take us out. So we're just going to slowly... Oh, I took Future Sight's attack! Oh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and uh, moo, moo my milk back up. Jinja, I think we need you. Oh, my God. Jinja, I still believe you're the one. We're literally gonna run out of PP though. You have pressure, he has pressure, we're using double. We're using double PP, how much does this do? It does nothing. 
does nothing. It does literally nothing. <gasps> oh, it does so little. It does so little. I gotta confuse him again. Man. Okay, he's confused. He is confused. Now that he is confused, I'm trying to figure out when to make the switch into Angel to go for signal beams. If that's even the right option. Uh, let's, oh God. Super potion up. Okay, okay, you're confused. You're gonna swift again. You get it off every time and we're gonna take the future side attack. This is bad. Just in general, pretty bad. Did you snap out of confusion again? This dude snaps out of confusion like nobody I've ever seen. Put him into confusion again. I just gotta hope he hits himself eventually. Like eventually he should, right? He did twice right off the bat and now it's like, oh, never will again. I forgot how to hit myself. Oh my God. Um, let me guess he snaps out. Let me guess he snaps out. He's confused. Future sight successfully. Okay, hit him with another pursuit. Confused, gets the swift off. I have to heal again because if he successfully gets another swift off, uh, and then the future sight hits, we're dead. He's confused, swifts again, successfully, future sight connects. Okay, now that there's no future sight coming, I am switching into Angel. Angel, come back in. And he snaps out of confusion, he goes for the future sight. Okay, okay, okay. Signal beam, give me a one shot here. Give me a one shot here. I am freaking soul do boosted. That does nothing to me. Signal beam, take him out. It's not going to. It is going to, that's right. All right, Mewtwo is down. Mewtwo is down. Repeat, hello, excuse me? What? No, I, I, no, dude, I'm, reco I'm recording right now. I can't, I can't talk. Yes, I want, oh, no, he's on faint attack. Yeah, I'm gonna get, yeah, I'm gonna get red tackle, duh. Okay, I see ya. Okay, uh, Angel took out the Mewtwo. Your last Pokemon is a Kakuna, which is basically the best thing you could have ever told me. What level is this Kakuna? 38, so 40, I think, is the cutoff. So this would have been a Beedrill. But the Kakuna is pretty much nothing. Kakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. You can harden all you want, my friend. Oh, I took the future side attack? Really? You're gonna play that game? Goodbye. Kakuna Matata. Got a little water on the mustache. All right, so we have beat Byron. You were strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this, the Mind Badge. We've received the Mind Badge from Byron. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Having the Mind Badge enables you to use the hidden move strength anytime outside of battle. Now you have six gym badges. That means all Pokemon to level 70 will obey you without question. Here, take this too. TM91 is gonna be... Rolling Kick. Cool. Cool. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. So we have Rolling Kick now. I don't think I'm gonna use it. Also, oh, I went to the step counter because I started counting steps. And then when I hit 10,000, I was like, there's something wrong here. So we'll go back to the item finder that you guys like looking at so much. Uh, but with that new gym battle, you know what that means? We get a re -encount Oh, no, please. I can't right now. Hey, that's the mind badge. Good going. You're tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not going to actually happen. Anyway, Gilmore, come with me to the library. Uh, I'll go to the library. But you guys know what that means? Oh, we lost our freaking greatest encounter person. That's what, that's what it partially means, I just realized. Uh, but... I also need to do some healing. So uh, I also need to buy some healing stuff. So let's go buy some more super potions. Now that we got some money. Um, we can re-encounter on any route. This is not where I wanted to be. We can re-encounter on any route of our choosing because we just got a new gym badge. Now what route do I want to re-encounter on, you may ask? I haven't figured it out yet. But let's take a look, you know. If the shoe fits, wear it. And I say, let's just look on this route that's right next to us. And see if there's any Pokemon that we consider being like, yeah, I would like for you to be on the team. That's a no. What was the route that we were like, there's so many good Pokemon here, I wouldn't even care what I got. Okay, so the fact that I've already seen two not-so-great Pokemon, that's a pretty good Pokemon. But the fact that I've already seen two not-so-great, three not-so-great means this route is instantly out. It's not going to be re-encountered on. What was our encounter on that route in the first place? I don't remember. Um, let's check in the city itself. I, I seem to remember 
when we surfed on this water, the city itself had some decent Pokemon. So let's do some of this. Like, the, didn't we catch an Electabuzz here? Or an Elekid? We caught an Elekid here. But was there anything else that was pretty dope that I might be like, mm, I would like you. No, okay, I'm out. I'm not re encountering here. We'll figure out where we're going to get our re encounter. Maybe an Iron Island? Let's take a look. Let's take a look and just see. I want If we're going to do the re encounter, I'd like to get it done sooner rather than later. So let's take a look and see. Uh, also, someone should be here now. He should. R Riley should. Nope. I thought Riley came back here. Maybe if the post game he comes back. I don't remember. So top floor Iron Island. What do we got right in this room right here that I may consider? This is where we caught Reggie, but there's also a Cheruby, so I'm not into it. This was the room I'm pretty sure that had tons of good stuff. Pro will pass to start. Okay, what else we got? I, I think this was the place that had it. A Grovile would be dope, except we already have so many grass types, but I still love Grovile. I've changed my mind. I think it was this side. This side had some dope stuff. It had to have. It had to have. Now, we do have that area to our south left. Okay, Blyzel, I'm out. We do have that area to our south southern and our leftern that had um, Pokemon like uh, uh, Celebi and... Uh, other cool things, but uh, yeah, this is not where I'm encountering. I'm sorry, Seal. I don't even remember your name from the beginning of the thing. Let's check this area to the right here. There are Charmanders in the area to our left. Maybe this was the one of these areas in Iron Island, I swear, was an area that I was like, everything's good here. We should remember this when we get our re encounter. But suddenly I'm thinking like that place doesn't exist. Cacturn? Diglett? What else? What else you got for me? Another Cacturn. Also, I'm just waiting for a shiny to appear because... Okay, well, I've decided that this is not the area for us. What about this final area? What do we got here? We'll run through this area quickly, see what they got, see if it's what we're interested in. I think that we never saw a Weezing when we were doing double battles. Are the Pokemon that can appear in double battles... But we did see the Celebi. Are the Pokemon that can appear in double battles different than the Pokemon that appear in solo battles? There's Trico's here. We know there's Charmander's here. We also know there's Surskits here, though, and I don't want to risk that. I cannot remember what route it was where I said all these Pokemon are good. What about... Okay, we're not dealing with Dunsparces. What about this room right here? What about this one? What about this one? What do you got for me in here? Nothing? No Pokemon live in here. Not a single Pokemon lives in here. You just built a cave for... Okay, there are Pokemon that live here. I don't really think Shift Tree is that good. I also don't know how long... By the way... No, okay, we're not doing it in here. I also don't know how long this episode's been going for because... Oh, Jesus. I definitely am never doing it in here. I don't know how long this episode's been going for because... I can't... Uh, I don't... I was like... Like I said, like... My recording time says over an hour, but also like 30 minutes of that was trying to hatch the egg. There's no Pokemon in here. Alright, so Iron Island is also not where we're getting our re-encounter. Maybe we go back... Do we try again? Do we try for the Houndor again? Do we, or the Houndoom, I should say. Do we try for the Houndoom again? What, what was, the, do you guys remember? There was an area where I was like, everything is good here. Was it here? Was it here that I said everything is good? A Luxray is beautiful. Okay, that's one Pokemon. What about, uh, you know, uh, a Sea King or a, <laughs> Quilava? This is not bad. There's not bad Pokemon here. Another Quilava. I just want to make sure there's no bad options. If we're going to get an encounter, there's a Luxio and a Luxray. Luxio and a Luxray. What about the water in the town? This is taking a long time, but uh, I want to make sure we're getting a good, the best option possible for Pokemon. What about if we surf on this water? I think the way we got the Houndoom was from uh, Gorbis. I think the way we got the Houndoom was fishing. Um, so that's probably the way we want to do it again. Yeah. Well, there, Honchkrow is in this game. What about... I'm going to test everything. I'm going to check every route we could possibly go on to find the one. Okay, so that would be species. Also, if you can find a route where, like, you've already caught most of the stuff on that route. Wish cast isn't terrible, I guess. Water types aren't bad. Ugh. It's just a gross Pokemon. I just hate looking at it. I'm going to freaking scour the entire planet for... I swear... I'm trying to remember, but, like, it's not coming back to my brain. Let's check here. I think this is the same route, though, so the Pokemon should be the same. Yeah, same Pokemon. What about one route down? What about one route down right here? Was this the route? It's all the same route. 
But it's a different area, so there's different Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Not dealing in love discs. Actually, there's only 19, so these Pokemon are actually garbage. You know what? Here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. I've decided. I've decided. I've decided. I've decided now. I'm going to catch Entei. I'm going to do it. That boy. Where, where is Entei? It's over. It's, it's over here. That Entei eluded us before. I am finishing this episode. I know I'm supposed to go to the library, by the way. Freaking Percy can wait. He's so impatient. He deserves it. We're going to go up here, which I, which I cannot do. Uh, we're going to go back to the area. I don't know anybody that knows cut. No, I really want to teach anybody cut. Well, I'm not even in the right folder. I, I've lost all control. This is It's over. This Nuzlocke is ending. Uh, we'll teach Ginger Cut because why the heck not? Just take Quick Attack. We're never, why did I even look at the Pokemon contest? We're never doing a Pokemon contest. Thank God they took those out. Okay. We could also do this route and go for the Lugia. It's not the Lugia, so. Although I don't remember if Lugia has a special intro. Also, we could also get the Mew here. There's two legendaries on this route. But there's also garbage Pokemon like Relicanth. Nope, nope. I've decided we're going where we found Entei and I am throwing a Master Ball at it and I'm going to catch it. Where is it? It's in here. It wasn't in this room. It was in the next room. In this room, right down here. This is where I'm getting my re-encounter. Wayward Cave, getting my re-encounter and we are going to get that Entei. He's been eluding us for the entire game. He's been taunting us for the entire game. But this is the moment where we take it back. Where we take it back. Where we take it back. Come on, bring it on, Ente. Bring it on, Ente. Bring it on, Ente. Oh, it's even... It's good still. It's good still. I don't care. Oh, level 17. I don't know how I'm going to catch you. This cave is awesome, by the way. As I try to search for words. Uh... I... You know, it's so scary because... Okay, so I have two thoughts. I have, I have a lot of them. You can go into Evergreen and you can slowly whittle him down with Hail. That's one option. You can go into Ninja and confuse him. And have him hit himself in confusion over and over and over again. But all of these options are scary. Oh, God. What do you know? What do you know? These options are all scary because he could, like, end up killing himself with any of these options. Uh, what do you know? What do you know? Uproar, weather, ball, shockwave, open sweet. I'm scared to touch him. I'm literally scared to touch him. Confusion. What can we do with you? I don't want to risk killing it. I'm just going to throw a ball. I'm going to throw a ball. We have ultra balls. I mean, I'm not going to use the master ball, though we have it. We have Ultra Balls. We have the clicking A as fast as you can strategy. And maybe, just maybe, AT, AT will want to come back on the squad. No, okay, not yet. But he's thinking about it, and he's broken out of confusion. I mean, prob from a probability standpoint, if we sit here long enough and just throw Ultra Balls at it, one of them will eventually catch him. But it's smarter to, to whittle him down a bit and have him keep hurting himself in confusion. And then you throw more balls. And like I said, eventually one of these is going to get it done. We, we don't have anybody with hypnosis on the squad anymore. So catching Pokemon got a, just got a little bit harder. That's one. That's two. Okay, like I said, probability. Keep hurting yourself, but don't hurt yourself to death. Probability states. I mean, it doesn't state this anywhere. Pokemon has nothing. I mean, there is probability in Pokemon. But no, st pro, pro, st I don't care. Yes, okay, okay. I was going to go into the statistics and bring in statisticians, and but who cares? All that matters is that we caught Metagross, the Iron Leg Pokemon. Metang combined to form it. With four brains, it has the intelligence of a super computer. And welcome back to the squad. One of the OG members from our Pokemon Heart Gold playthrough, ATAT, you are back on the squad. Except you're not on the squad right now. You're in the box, but we have an option now and a great option in ATAT. -AT. Um, so if something bad ever happened, no, I'm not going to say anything. No jinx and things. No jinx and things. Uh, this area right here, Wayward Cave, I'm pretty sure we just never explored. 
Like, am I wrong to say we never explore this because I was like, oh, Flash, it requires Flash and Flash is obnoxious. I'm pretty sure that that sounds like something I would say at the very least, but we have Flash now, it's TM70 and we can use it. I mean, it's garbage, but I can give it to Nove and just get rid of Safeguard because that's it. And we can now use Flash in here um, and light this boy up. So what I think I'm gonna do these Pokemon are going to be very weak, obviously, but uh, there's going to be trainers in here so we can get a little bit of experience, and uh, there's also going to be items in here so maybe we can find some cool items, but I think we'll explore this area of Wayward Cave next time, and then I'll get back on track to what this game's actually about and head back up to um, Candelave City to the library, and we'll continue with the plot. But for now, why did my phone restart? I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great Playcrastinator, go ahead and send them on by because we would love to have them. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.